Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 13th, okay? So keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, okay? So what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? High Priestess. Two of Wands reversed in the past. Somebody's been very indecisive, fearful, intimidated perhaps. High Priestess is somebody that is gifted, very intuitive, uh, goes within to reflect and observe, you know, keeps things to themselves, very intuitive, very, I don't know, maybe we have, a, we have somebody here that is gifted, you know, spiritually gifted. Two of Wands reversed, that is indecisive. That's in the past though. Maybe somebody's made a decision. They've made a decision. Maybe their intuition has told them something, you know, or they've received a message or they've received some insight. Queen of Swords. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Chariot going in a new direction moving moving fast are you ready ready somebody's ready they're finding the discipline and they're in the courage and they're taking the lead and they're taking charge they've received some sort of information or some sort of news they've received some truth they have they may have been not very practical or ungrounded or insecure Definitely fearful with the Two of Wands reversed. Somebody was fearful, you know, and insecure with the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Receiving a message. Somebody has received, they're going to be receiving a message. It could be an intuitive nudge. Queen of Swords, act fast, think fast. Somebody's going to need to think fast. They are going to need to think fast because something is about to be revealed. Two of Wands reversed. Very sudden. I think this is like a, some sort of sudden change. Somebody may be moving fast, moving very, very fast. However that means to you, moving fast is a big deal. Queen of Swords is uh, think fast, okay? I feel like we have a new door that is opening. Ah! King of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. This is somebody that has a golden opportunity. This is a hard worker that has built up some sort of financial success. Right? The King of Pentacles is uh this is a leader. This is some this is a boss. This is somebody that is stable, that is solid, that has a lot to offer. Very earthy, very laid back, down to earth, um outdoorsy probably. Works outdoors or or is outdoors, likes to be outdoors. This person likes to be outdoors. But anyhow, um, I feel like there's been some temporary issues with this person because I see all these clouds. So I feel like there's been some temporary issues. But this is ready. This is a real solid opportunity. Somebody is, is about to make somebody an offer. feel like it's ready ready they may have been they may have been not practical in the past or they were they may have been in a partnership that was boring or uh, 
they were dealing with somebody that was very, very possessive, that kept them stuck, kept them indecisive. They may have even they may even be fearful with the two of wands reversed. That's like extremely fearful of stepping into that territory, extremely scared of stepping over the edge because maybe there's been this. I mean, they were cheated on, or you know, they were uh, they dealt with somebody that was possessive, you know, or they dealt with somebody that was jealous. You know, they're extremely fearful. But I feel like there's a sudden change here with that two of wands reversed. I really do. I feel like it's a sudden change. I feel like we, we have somebody here that is receiving a message. Definitely receiving a message that moves them in a new direction. They're being guided. They're being guided to go in this direction. They're going to be replacing that fear with faith and going. It's like, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Now the Queen of Swords is is very independent. Next to the next to the High Priestess, this is a very independent person. You know, this is somebody that chooses to be alone. Typically chooses to be alone and chooses to focus on their spirituality. May teach spirituality. Definitely has a gift. There's some sort of intimidation here. This is somebody that only deals with the truth. You know, it's the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And if you can't tell me the truth, you're going to get hurt. <clears throat> the chariot moving very fast. Getting in the driver's seat. Taking a journey. Going someplace. I feel like there's going to be an arrival. There's somebody that is 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 going someplace. They're getting in their vehicle and they're on a mission. And they're in a hurry. They are in a hurry. Seven of Wands reversed. Death. Four of Wands reversed. There definitely could be some uprooting here. Something, this is like a messy situation. The party is over. The party is over. The party is over. The celebration is over. This is, this is, uh, somebody may be securing something. They may be securing a new location. Endings lead to new beginnings. There's, got, there's a profound life change here. It's a time of transformation. The Chariot and the Death card are both transformation cards. The Four of Wands reversed is the, a commitment, which is underneath the Death card, which is a, the end of a commitment, the end. The, there, there is, you know, this is things not turning out. It's like maybe somebody was in a commitment that didn't turn out. Endings lead to new beginnings. We definitely have a new beginning here with the Death card. Admitting defeat with the Seven of Wands reversed. It's like somebody has been uh, holding on to a position. You know, they've been in a tough position. They've been they've been uh, refusing to budge. They've been refusing to budge, refusing to make any changes for some reason. There could be a sad farewell here with the Four of Wands reversed in this death card. They're definitely in the chariot card. There could this is admitting defeat. It's stepping down. It's quitting. It's giving up. Somebody may be giving up on something. They may be being guided to give up. They're giving up on something because they want success. They want something solid. They want something stable. They may be dealing with somebody that they're just in it for the money. They may have married for money. You know, we got the Queen of Pentacles reversed, the King of Pentacles, and then we have the Four of Wands, which is a marriage card or a commitment mark card or a live with card. You know, they, they, they got into it just for the, you know, financial reasons. But I feel like we have somebody here that wants to go. You know, they want to move on. They do want to move on. I feel like we have somebody that is wishing that things could go back to the way they were. They, they wish that they never would have committed to this. Something about leaving home. Leaving home with the chariot and the death and the four of wands reversed. This is like an unhappy home, you know, or things, you know, I don't know if somebody got themselves into something to do with a home and they're wishing that they never did. You know, they're wishing that they, they never got into this. This is a messy situation now. 
uh, seven of wands reverse that is giving up admitting admitting it admitting that it's over admitting that you know walking away from the position it's just like leaving it it's like I'm leaving and I do see leaving here definitely leaving this isn't practical it's not realistic you know there's nothing solid and I, I have something of value you know we have somebody here that has something huge to offer you know so this could this is like a sudden I feel like we have suddenly leaving you know I do I feel like it's like admitting defeat it's like there's also some sort of fall from power here or giving up, giving up. I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be caught off guard by an arrival as well. So be prepared for that. I feel like we have an arrival here and I think you're going to be caught off guard. Somebody may be arriving. You don't see it coming. This is somebody that is that has something uh, that they're going to be making an offer. They're going to be making an offer and uh, you're going to, you may have some questions. You may be asking them some questions. This is like a total change. It is a profound change. You know, death card is a separation or a loss with a new beginning to follow. So there is a, there is a major ending here, a major ending with a new beginning to follow. Somebody is going someplace and they're going someplace fast. You may have also sensed that something was coming. You may have somebody here that is very, very unstable. Okay, so I don't know who that is, but there is something that is coming. You, pro you may know what this is. You may have sensed that it was coming. Somebody has been choosing the safest option with the Two of Wands reverse. You know, they've been choosing to play it safe protecting themselves maybe because they were so hurt in the past whether they were betrayed by cheated on you know they dealt with somebody that was very possessive whatever there's gonna be movement we get ready for some movement because there's gonna be movement receiving a solid stable offer from an individual that is a hard worker that is grounded that is loyal this person um, is about to make an offer. This is a big offer. Somebody's about to receive a big, big, big offer. May it may have a that have to do with a home or a business or could even be a car, could even be a partnership. Whatever is happening here, it's big, and it will be successful. It will it will be successful, but. There's reluctance, there's reluctance, there's opposition, there's definitely opposition, there's like opposing it, somebody, it's like opposing it, there's opposing forces, it's not going to be easy, there's work ahead, there's hard work ahead to make it successful, but because there could be a change in, in a living situation. Justice, justice, a fair and just decision being made, doing the right thing, acting with integrity. There could be some news of legalities. There could even be a divorce here, just being honest. Could be a new contract. There could be a new contract here. Could be dealing with a Libra. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, could be dealing with a Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Gemini, Aquarius, right together. So making a decision based on the truth, based on the facts, asking questions, think fast. There's an arrival, somebody is coming. Get prepared to make a decision. There's some sort of realignment here. We have an ending with a new beginning to follow. 
This is a new life. Giving up the past commitment. A change in position. Going through a new doorway. Being guided to do so. Needing to use your head and be practical. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. It's time to leave the past behind and go in that new direction. It's time for your new life, right? Death is a new life. This is a profound life change. We also have a karmic ending with the justice in the death card. That's a karmic ending. It's the end of a contract with a new beginning to a new contract to follow. Somebody is coming in really fast. This person is determined. They are determined. It feels like they're determined to win. They're going to be making a solid offer. They're not happy. Maybe they're not happy with the competition because the Seven of Wands is a competition card. This is happiness. This is a happy relationship. This is spiritual blessing. This is extreme happiness, right? I mean, the Ten of Cups is happily ever after. A happy couple, happy family. This is a permanent love. The storm is over, right? It's beautiful. The difficulty is over when you have a rainbow. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is headed right towards happiness very, very fast. And it's because they make a decision to basically change their position with the Seven of Wands reverse. That's giving up a position. It is. It's like they were refusing to budge. They were, they were fighting for something or they were, I don't know, maybe they had a lot of other options and they didn't know what their choice was. We got the two of wands here. I do feel like a decision and with the justice, a decision has been made or a decision is to go in a new direction. This is a major transformation. It is a major change. It's a separation or a loss with a new life that begins right after. Two of Pentacles, realignment. Three of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, reverse. Three of Cups, reverse. That's parting ways from friends, family, or a relationship. Uh, I feel like there is a third party situation here. We got two threes in this little fallout, and we do have a fallout here that leads to change because that is the Two of Pentacles, which is change. Somebody is trying to find balance. I feel like they've been juggling. They've been going back and forth, trying to decide what they wanted to do. They obviously had two options. I feel like they were avoiding challenge, maybe because they were wounded in the past. You know, they didn't want to deal with the challenge, you know, of, of uh, creating or starting over or building, you know, building a new foundation. Um, but I do feel, you know, because it's, it's hard work. It is definitely hard work. And, and I do feel like we have somebody here that is making, and they may have stayed for financial reasons in their current situation because it was safe. 
Um, but I do believe that we have somebody here that is about to take another step because we go from the Two of Pentacles right to the Three of Pentacles. I mean, that's how they, and I use this as my favorite deck, as you can tell by the wear and tear on the deck. They fell out like that. So we have progress that is being made. We have somebody here that is definitely taking sole ownerships. They want to, they want to give something new a chance. So they're parting ways. There's with something where there's, it's a third party situation. They're making a choice. Somebody is making a choice. They're making a choice between two options. There's a separation here. Absolutely positively. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that has been so wounded that they don't trust. You know, they really, really, really don't trust. I feel like they've been cheated on or something like that, or there's been cheating, you know, and changing, changing directions means changing your whole life. Whether they cheated or you cheated, you know, you gotta, it's a big change. This is a big change. We have somebody here that has been able to be flexible but now, you know, working with others, doing things differently, learning new skills and uh, giving up that position means that everything changes. So I do see separation here, definitely. Three of Cups reverse, that's parting ways from friends, family, maybe both or a relationship. Um, <coughs> I also feel like we have somebody here that's going to be challenged. They are going to, definitely, they're going to be challenged. They may be challenged by, you know, whoever it is that they're dealing with is going to challenge them, you know, and uh, there could be a fight that causes this ending with the Seven of Wands reverse. There, there could definitely be a fight. We definitely have family issues here as well. News of legalities. We could have somebody here that just gets this idea, you know, that I gotta go in another direction. I gotta leave all this shit behind and I just gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Parting ways from the whole situation. That's what I see. It's like parting ways. I'm leaving. Making a decision based on the truth. Getting Maybe even getting an epiphany. You know, happiness isn't about fighting. It's not. This is like ending the whole thing. It's like ending the whole contract, death and injustice. Okay, it's like ending it. So this is definitely a major ending. It's like ending the contract, ending it. So there definitely has, is an ending here. And it brings happiness by not, and the seven of wands reverse, it's like, I give up. I give up, I just wanna be happy. And it, things aren't turning out the way it should. Maybe it's time for a whole new tribe, right? A whole new set of friends, a whole, you, know, you know, a whole new, and I hate to say family, but you know, sometimes when your family doesn't support you, then it's maybe, I mean, hey, sometimes you gotta move on. I do feel like we have a sad farewell here. But this leads to st stability. I mean, the King of Pentacles is the ultimate financial stability. It's the ultimate stability. It's the ultimate security. So somebody is, and it's, the chariot is right behind it, okay? So somebody is headed towards financial stability and financial security by giving up the position that they are in right now. And blindly, because the, the mask is over the justice card, without knowing what the outcome is, having faith with the chariot card, blindly moving forward into unknown territory brings abundance. It does. And happiness. Extreme happiness. But it is a messy situation. And there could be court involved.
divinely guided to let go and work together with somebody else. There's going to be movement. And that is what I got. Good luck.